We're gonna cook this up a parrillada. A parrillada is a very popular dish throughout particularly Latin cuisine. Different places have different names for it, but at the end of the day, what it is is basically a mixture of barbecue meat served on a big old plate, and it's amazing. Almost every parrillada has at least three beef proteins. Center cut ribs or finger ribs, cross cut ribs. These are dino ribs cut into about three quarter inch thickness. Fajitas are a staple in South Texas. They also usually have chicken I've got some chicken leg quarters here that we're gonna throw on the grill as well. They always, always have sausage. I'm using my own. I made this deer and pork sausage last month. And in addition to that, parrilladas can also have seafood. It can be a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of lobster. Just really, there's no right or wrong way like Arnie Ticks always says. Ain't no right way, ain't no wrong way. A parrillada basically just means a bunch of grilled meats on a platter for you to enjoy with your friends and your family. Let's get fired up, get these meat seasoned, and start cooking. I'm gonna season up these loaded ribs first, and of course, we're gonna use our wow. Let's go ahead and season the other side real quick. Get the ball rolling, get fired up. Let's season up these beef ribs here. Let's lay on some wow right here. Next thing up is the fajitas. We're gonna season up these fajitas with a little bit of wow too. Now fajitas are a hot and fast item. I find that they are much better when you put a little bit of wow and OG together. The OG has a little bit more salt, pepper, and garlic. The beef ribs are gonna take a little bit longer to cook, so we'll let those sweat out a little bit on the wow. The fajitas, fast and furious, a little bit of OG and a little bit of wow. Anything that's hot and fast, the two together work fantastic. Now this is flat meat. This is also going to take the same treatment, a little bit of OG and a little bit of wow. All right, friends, next up is the chicken go. Chicken. These are called shaved leg quarter. They basically take a leg quarter and slice it in half with a saw, and they cook fast, and they are super delicious, and wow really takes them to another level too. In most cases, parrilladas, multiple meats are cooked on an open fire grill like this, so we're gonna go ahead and do that way today too. First thing to go on is the beef ribs. These take a little while to cook, so we're not gonna put them directly over the flames. We're gonna put them over here to the side, and we're also gonna do the same thing with the sausages here. Right now we have a raging fire going pretty much. That's gonna burn down a little bit in a little while, and then we're just gonna have a nice steady fire. These are called loaded ribs. They're also, when they're thinner, they're called tablitas. These, I'm gonna sear them a little bit. Those take a while too, and then I'm gonna move them over here to the other side. A little further away from the fire. I'm gonna start these over here on this side of the grill. It's gonna be pretty hot there for a little bit, but again, I'm gonna move them over here to the side after they get a little bit of char on there, a little bit of heat. Everything here should be done in about an hour, and then we're gonna throw the fajitas on. By then, we probably won't have any daylight, but I'll bring some lights out anyway. You can see the fire starting to tame down a little bit. The flames are getting smaller. The meat's getting hot getting nice and hot. We'll be flipping these here very, very shortly. You can see where these bones are starting to get hot and they're sweating. You can see where they're sweating a bunch right there. All right, I've already seared these little loaded ribs. You can see that I got a nice sear on them a while ago. So now I moved them over here a little indirect. Center cut ribs are gonna get seared next. We're gonna give them a real hot little treatment so they can cook a little quicker. All right, then we have these chickens here. All right, that looks gorgeous. What a beautiful scene, folks. Really, really enjoy doing stuff like this. I hope you guys enjoy the video too. All right, friends, so we're searing these ribs again. We already gave them a couple of flips. This is the way meats have been cooked on open fires for centuries, forever and ever. You gotta know your grill. No more or less how much fire to put in there. And if you gotta move the meats around a couple of times, flip them a little bit more often, then that's what you gotta do. Let's flip it. Let's give that skin a little color too. And then we'll flip them right back here in just a minute. These sausages are just about ready. I just swapped these sausages here, the back one to the front, the front one to the back. I will do that the same thing with the ribs, just like this. This helps nice even cooking and they all cook about the same time. What does Arnie say? Flippity flip. You gotta know when to move it. When you see too much grease dripping, getting a little too hot, go ahead and get it. Move it around. The grease stops dripping and the fire settles down again. So now the fire's a little more mellow. I can put these back out here for a few minutes. And then in about two minutes or so, we'll move everything back away from the 
fire. We'll flip these one more time. Those will be done here shortly. The sausage will be done very shortly. All right, friends, we got our sausage out. You can see it's beautifully cooked. That is deer and pork sausage with a little bit of hot chili. Chicken leg quarters, not direct, direct, but on the edge of the fire with slightly direct heat. Have our beef ribs over here. It's starting to look pretty nice. All right, friends, it's time to uh, flip this chicken back over here and get it a little bit further away from the fire. We've got our fajitas here. We are ready to throw those on so we don't run out of fire as well. And I brought my other tongs here for the fajitas. Oh yeah, it's still hot. I hear a little sizzle there, mama. And away we go. We're gonna get these away a little bit. Let them finish cooking in direct over here. There's plenty of heat here, folks. We're gonna flip this one more time, get it a little bit further away. All right, friends, the meat's almost all done. We're gonna put us a couple of jalapenos up here. Give them a little roasty toasty so I can snack on those <laughs> while we're eating our parriada. These sausages are done. I'm gonna put them in the tray. We're gonna set them in the camera for a little bit. Keep them warm. All right, friends, the beef ribs are done. <laughs> Time to go inside and put together our plate. Man, we got it done. We ran out of daylight, a cold front blew in. What does Arnie Takes always say? Make it work. We made it work and everything's done to perfection. How do you know these beef ribs are done? When they bend just like that. They're perfect, no wrap ribs, they're beautiful. We have a couple of pieces of fajita here. We have several sausages. These are the sausages I made in the Haslet with my brother-in-law Noel. These are venison and pork with hatch green chili. We have some good looking loaded ribs here as well. We also have some chicken, chicken. We have a couple of beautiful jalapenos for Arnie Tex to bite on. <laughs> while he's enjoying the parriada. All right, friends, we're gonna assume this is a parriada for three people. It's me, Terry, and my mom. I'm not counting Buddy the dog. <laughs> so we're gonna cut these ribs in between here. They feel very soft, very, very nice. Today's about the parriada, not so much about getting perfect meats, but they do feel perfect. Look at that, I mean, whoa, man, that looks really, really nice. And now we're gonna get our loaded ribs on here. And we're gonna take our sausage. And like I said, we're assuming this parriada is for three people, so that's why we're putting a little extra meat on here. This sausage smells really good. It does. And don't forget the chicken. We've got a chicken leg quarter right here. Then we've got some fajitas. We cannot forget those amazing and delicious fajitas. All right, we're gonna cut these with the grain first, and then we're gonna cut them against the grain. I gotta get a bite. Mmm, mmm. Let's slide this right over here. We're done slicing. We have these two jalapenos here. All right, friends, there's a couple more things that generally go with parriada. One of them is a little scoop of rice. A few tortillas, I'm only bringing one out here today. And a steaming little cup of frijoles and bola. Frijoles and bola just mean they're whole pinto beans. Now, a lot of these parriadas might also have a side of avocado, a little side salad, but generally, this is the parriada dish. This is the main course. This is a parriada food. When you bring it all from the parrilla, put it in one big tray or one plate as a serving and just go to town, man, chow down. Let's see what these beef ribs taste like while we're here. Mmm. Oh, baby. Mmm, 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 mmm. No, no. Mm, mm, mm. I want to eat the whole thing. That is so good. <laughs> you might get some of your fajita, put it in a tortilla here like this. Take a bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, baby, that's good. Take a bite of jalapeno. Mm, really, really good. Eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Mmm. Oh, man. One of my favorite. I definitely want to try the chicken before we go. So let me take a bite of this. Mmm, man. That thigh is fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. This is a South Texas parrillada cooked over an open fire. I sure had a good time cooking all this meat. We had a good time recording it for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. 
If you like it, make sure you hit the like button down there. Make sure you comment and share it with your family and your friends. Let us know what this is called in the region and or country where you live. If you're interested in our APC Wow Rub right here, which we used on all these meats, it's at pitmaster.us. You can also find my APC OG at pitmaster.us. And friends, if you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us where we teach you all the basics, fire control, and everything you need to know about cooking all the most popular barbecue meats. Thanks for watching, folks. Keep smoke light. Make it work and make it wow. We're gonna turn the camera off for a few minutes so we can go get a Scooby snack. <laughs> we'll pretend I'm taking another bite. Oh, I actually took one. And buddy, he's right there waiting for his Scooby snack. Look at that dog, he's waiting for the beef. Where's the beef, buddy? Where's the beef? <laughs> Damn. Damn, everything's good. Super good. I said everything's good.